Fresh from his win at the hard line in Dolgetla, Bernard Kerr in the Surrey Hills with his pivot shuttle. Let's have a look at the details. Bernard, congratulations on winning the hard line. Thank you very much. Do you know what I thought? Can you actually ride an e-bike up that track? No, not a chance. You get up that track of the e-bike. Hey, yeah. So here we are, Surrey Hills. It's the off-season uh, e-bike. I mean, how often do you use this bike? Loads. Honestly, in the off-season, two or three times a week, maybe four if it's really wet like this. So what? yeah, I love them and ride them so much, I think. Crikey. Well, it does yeah, look like great. this gets ridden. Let's have a look at some of the details on this bike. Now, it's a size large. You're five foot 11, right? Yeah. Uh, if the reach numbers on this bike are 459 for a size large, it's got a 438 eight mil chainstay and a 65.2 head angle. Uh, there's actually one more size, isn't there? There's an extra large in this yeah, bike as well. Yeah, there is an XL as well, yeah. Uh, so wheels, Bernard, you've got, you've got a carbon wheel set on there. Yep. What's the internal width of those, of those they wheels? They are a 29 inch wheel with a 28 yep. millimeter internal diameter right. on the Reynolds carbon wheels. Max's shorties, obviously for the wet weather in the Surrey Hills. Best tires, yeah. Uh, some of the details on this bike, WTB seat in there, a Fox transfer seat post. What length is that? Seat that's a 150 on this one. Okay, right. Yeah. Rental handlebars, short stem, that's a 35 mil stem, I think, that yeah. uh, Bernard's got there. Even, yeah. Do you know what's really surprising? I, I'm looking at this bike, you seem to have got 180 mil rotors but you can still do those stoppies pretty well is that is that a you know did you choose them no it's honestly not even on purpose it would have been shimano built this up for me at a world cup actually which is real nice of them and um it was probably what they had in the truck and they put on and they yeah. worked fine for me so yeah so talking about shimano now you've got um 165 mil Shimano cranks yep. in there. You've got a Shimano Steps E8000 motor with a 500 watt hour battery. That's internal. Uh, it's a DI2 system you got It is there. a DI2 on this one, yeah. Now the cool thing about DI2 is when you're changing gear, it actually backs off the power so it doesn't crunch through the gears. Now looking at some of the detail of this bike, uh, there's no charge left in the tank because we've been hammering it around the Surrey Hills all day. <laughs> actually, there's two bars left in there. Uh, some particularly nasty looking grips there <laughs> from a good friend of yours. Yeah, right? I hate to admit it, but yeah, my death grips, I really unfortunately do like them. Yes, there you go. Yes, uh, in what color is that? It looks like it's a like camo, but they're, I've used them a lot, so they're wearing down a bit. Looks like a particularly murky looking color to me. I keep asking him for new ones, but he won't give me any. Yeah, right, okay. He's behind the camera right there. Look. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Uh, Sh Shimano XTR brakes on this bike uh, and Fox suspension front and rear. Now it's a 140 mil travel bike, but up front Bernard's got 160 mil Fox 36 fork on there. So Bernard, Surrey Hills yep. in November. What have you got planned? I know you like going to New Zealand in the new year to get some sun. Yeah. What have you got planned in the off season? Um, yeah, just ride here as much as possible in the wet and then actually December 1st, I'm gonna go to California and ride some motorbikes. So mm. yeah, use the e-bike now for fun and it's such a good training tool, so yeah. And then obviously it's off to New Zealand. You got Crankworks, no doubt? Yeah, go off to maybe come home for a week. If not, just go straight to New Zealand, get some good training in Queenstown. And then, yeah, we got Crankworks at the beginning of March and then straight back for the first World Cup. Loser, that's a hell of a track, right? Yeah, it's, I haven't been in years, dude. Honestly, yeah. the last time I went was probably like, 10 years ago now, but it's such a cool place, good venue, and I yeah. think they've got some good tracks yeah. now. Uh, talking about good tracks, we're here literally 20 minutes, half an hour from yeah. central London. I'm actually blown away by the trails here in Surrey. <laughs> I don't know why you're blown away, it's unreal here. It's like, but there's nobody, it's a Thursday afternoon, and there's actually nobody here. Yeah. And, uh, but like on an e-bike, as you can see, it's been a wet day, we can charge around the woods, right? Yeah, it rained all night last night, but yeah, Surrey Hills take it pretty well. We've got some pretty good loam out here, and it's been an awesome day. Would you do the kind of riding we've done today on a normal by considering the amount of water and mud and bogs. I mean, no, honestly not. We would have got nowhere. We'd have been going one mile an hour through all the bogs and it honestly would have been hard work for not a lot of all rewards. Yeah. So, so no. is, it, is it goodbye to the pivot shuttle? Uh, I didn't actually mention this bike was a pivot shuttle earlier on, but there you go. Uh, is it good bike to pivot shuttle for the winter once you've gone to California? Or do you plan um, to get I'm going to try and get one out there from Pivot there in Arizona. So they're really what? close to like four or five hours from where I'm going to be. So Surely Arizona on an e-bike. Yeah. yeah, unreal. Yeah. Uh, one more detail which we didn't talk about is there's a mud hugger, mud guard on there. Obviously, it's critical. Great and guys. Also, some Crank Brothers magnesium pedals. Yeah, they've hooked me up some pretty nice black and gold light pedals. So, really like those. Yeah. yeah. And uh, finally, a bit of silver birch to prop the bike up. Lovely bit of tree. Bernard, have a great time in California. Thank you very and much. Best of luck to the Supercross. Thank you. I'll need it. <laughs>